Hi, today we'll be making a Thai green curry. This is a very fresh and flavorsome dish. I'm using this pea eggplant. This is also called the plate blush eggplant. These are tiny little eggplants that looks like a pea. Adds a nice flavor and looks beautiful especially for Thai dishes. We call it Tibbadu and really available in Sri Lanka. Now I'm going to grind the mixture that we'll be using for flavoring. I have ginger, garlic, green chili. As you can see, we are using a lot of green color ingredients. This will make sure that our dish will be a beautiful, rich green color. There goes the lemongrass, try and get fresh lemongrass. Since I didn't have coriander leaves, I'm putting a little bit of parsley and curry. But make sure to use coriander leaf that gives a nice flavor and a nicer color. I put a little bit of tamarind juice and ground this. Now you can see this is a very fine paste. This paste is way better than any store-bought paste any day. Now starting off with some oil. So I am using a big pot because this is just a one pot dish that we are having at home. So I am starting off with some onions. When the onions are translucent, I am adding the paste that we made. So I am cooking that. I am adding a little bit of salt, sugar, a little bit of pepper powder. A little bit of red chili flakes, it gives a nice flavor and coriander powder, a little turmeric, all these spices and some delicious flavor to the dish. Let this mixture cook. You can feel the whole kitchen smelling beautiful with this fresh lemongrass flavor. Here I have my chicken cut into small cubes, no bones. So I'm using chicken breast, two chicken breasts today because this is a favorite in my house. Just let this chicken cook with all these spices. I have not added any water. Just let it cook with the spices for some time. Make sure the fire is really low when doing this. Now I'm going to get all my veggies ready. As you can see, I'm using mostly green vegetables. After all, this is the Thai green curry. I have my lime leaf the pea aubergine but today I'm adding a few carrots as well so I'm adding the carrots first because it takes longer to cook even though it's not a green vegetable it adds a lot of color to any dish I have rinsed the grinder and adding a little bit of water to cook all these beautiful vegetables and the chicken watch out not to put too much of water at this moment because the chicken releases its water as well but of course we want a little bit of gravy because this gravy is so delicious adding a little bit of sugar at this point and you can add some soya sauce as well there goes my brinjals brinjals are really nice for this dish and i'm adding my lime leaf if you have some lime leaves at home add that it gives a nice flavor and i'm letting this cook for some time when the brinjals are cooked now lastly we add our green vegetables along with the thick coconut milk. I'm using canned coconut milk because it's very thick and creamy. The reason I'm adding the beans and the pea last of all is because these cook really fast so we don't want to overcook any vegetable. We always have to remember to retain the beautiful colors of the vegetable. Just taste the gravy, whether the salt, the sarnas, the sugar, everything is just perfect. If not, you can add a little bit of lime juice if you feel the tamarind is not enough. But I didn't add anything, it was just perfect. It's beautiful and really delicious. With just plain jasmine rice. I have left a little bit of gravy, that's because for this dish you need a little bit of delicious gravy because this gravy is absolutely yummy and also it's a clay pot so as it cools it's going to absorb and evaporate all the wetness so making thai is no magic it's so easy so delicious really worth it i'm sure you're gonna try this let me know how it goes bye for now enjoy the dish